Hello, welcome to my tech fam. Approximately a month ago I did a review of Creality filaments and did a temperature test which I did in this oven. I wanted to get a little bit better accuracy than this uh, oven thermometer because this has a small delay. Uh, so I use my wife's uh, cooking thermometer. In Hungarian cooking thermometer or oven thermometer it, it means the same. And that, that's what uh, confused me because I check on the box it can, it can withstand 200 degrees Celsius but now I know only lower part. It was very funny to analyzing the time lapse to see how it died on 100 degrees Celsius. I can see the plastic melted so probably it's from ABS not from nylon and similar. So okay uh, lesson learned and what was really touching that after that video I got two donations to buy <laughs> a new cooking thermometer for my wife and uh, she got her uh, new thermometer but I'm not allowed to use it anymore. And uh, but the Banggood has a solution for me, so they sent me this uh, oven thermometer. Let me take it out, and it, ha it has this uh, uh, probe which is uh, separate. I'm not sure how long is this wire, I will measure it later. And it is some kind of uh, touch display, I think, color display. Let me take off the foil. Uh, so I hope it will do the job now. Uh, I will measure its accuracy and to see if I can use it in my future temperature tests for, for different uh, materials. For testing I will not use uh, oven thermometer. Uh, it is uh, accurate but the, as I mentioned the problem is that uh, it has a little bit delay. But uh, there is one thermometer which I trust. I have different sensors and similar but uh, believe it or not this is the thermometer. Uh, I really trust. Uh, it has accuracy of 1 degree Celsius and it can measure up to 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, for comparison I will uh, use this one. And I can see it uh, works on two uh, AAA batteries but the batteries are not included. Oh and I can see I think this is magnet. Ah great. <laughs> so I don't have to hold it in my hand. Okay let's turn it on. There is an on off button and it's a timer and a cooking, I'm not sure what it means yet. Let's plug this thermistor, I can see it is a metal. Uh, I hope that these wires and the insulation can hold uh, at least 200 degrees Celsius which I need. Let's do the user manual too. Yeah, this is the first page and this is the second page. I will scan this so you can see it closer. I noticed that it has this stand too, but I will not use it now. And let's check first the timer mode. With this I can set the minutes and with this the seconds. And if I press these two buttons in the same time, then it will be reset. Uh, I cannot go down, only up, So, but it, when it gets to 99, uh, it starts from the zero. Let's see what happens if the timers go down. This is the start stop. Okay, switch to the cook mode. And uh, what we can see here are different preset temperature. This is the alert temperature and this is the cooking temperature and I can change the units. Now it is in Fahrenheit and now it is in degrees of Celsius. And um, uh, preset temperature, you can see uh, different uh, type of the meat, beef, pork, fish and similar. But even th there you can change the type of that meat, for example, medium, really similar. And if I change to PGM, in that case here I can set the alert temperature because I want to set it to 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, because this will be my limit, for example, for my next test. And to change this, I have to press this button uh, for a longer period, a few seconds. And now I can change the temperature. That's fine. And now I have uh, alert temperature on 200 degrees Celsius and theoretically I can test it. Uh, I can already see that uh, it is probably accurate because uh, in this room it is 27 degrees Celsius. I can I hope it's visible on camera too. 
So uh, on first test it passed, uh, but now let's uh, do some other measurements. Well, the boiling water should be always 100 degrees Celsius on atmospheric pressure. And well, let's follow the heating temperature. Forty-two, forty-two. Well, the still show the equal temperature, so it is uh, fifty-four here and fifty-four here, fifty-five, fifty-five. So the, the temperature is accurate on both thermometers. I have to take out this analog thermometer because it's closing to its max temperature range. It immediately pick up this temperature, so it reacts very fast. I don't want to speed up this part of the video, so you can see when will it get to 100 degrees Celsius. I hope it's visible on camera, 99 degrees Celsius, so I'm very happy with the accuracy of this thermometer. And here it is, exactly 100 degrees Celsius, uh, the temperature of the boiling water on the atmospheric pressure. So, accuracy is perfect so far. And in this last part, uh, I want to place these two thermometers in the oven. Uh, this is that old uh, oven thermometer. Uh, this is not really experiment uh, what I expect. Well, probably they will show similar temperatures, but here there will be a quite noticeable delay. And usually every oven has this uh, rubber for the thermal insulation, so the cable will not be pinched. I can even move the cable, so that's definitely okay. I will set the alert temperature to 200 degrees Celsius because then I will stop the heating. Usually I do this kind of experience at night, uh, but I hope it will be visible. I raise the air temperature so it doesn't beep anymore. I turned off the heating so the temperature should be constant in the next few seconds. And now approximately a minute later or a little bit more, uh, when the temperature in this oven is uh, not changing so quickly, actually it is uh, slowly cooling down, I can see the temperatures are equal, so that's confirmed my theory that uh, both are quite accurate, but this one has big delay. And as you can see, I can see absolutely no problems, so uh, this wire and this kind of insulation is in perfect condition, probably this is some kind of silicon. And now the conclusions, well, very accurate and fast oven thermometer, <laughs> maybe even too fast for my needs, because that material in the experiment needs time to take over that heat inside the object. Uh, perfect solution would be if I could change the temperature inside the oven very very slowly but this is what I have and I'm happy that <laughs> my wife allows me to use this oven after that accident last time. Uh, so oh, this means that uh, my future temperature test results are not comparable with those which I did in the past because there I used that different oven with, with that small delay. And uh, of course this is uh, mostly CD printing channel, but I try to create some kind of overall review about this uh, thermometer. And of course I will not use it for cooking, but uh, maybe you can uh, use it for that too. Uh, if anybody decides to buy this, I will place an affiliate link down in the description. Uh, it doesn't cost you more, but I will get some small commission if anybody decides to buy exactly this thermometer. A little bit off topic, but I hope I could give you some useful information. Thank you for watching and uh, follow me to my next video too. Bye.